Traditional baseball development is obsolete and dead. Velocity isn't just how fast a baseball travels. It's mindset and habits training, learning strategies, success routines, and so much more. I created this podcast for parents of middle school and high school baseball players. Baseball Velocity School. Baseball Baseball Velocity Velocity School. School. I was thinking the other day, some, some things parents and players don't consider is how, you know, everything really affects everything. And so a lot of times when players are making mechanical changes... And, and, you know, this podcast is for moms and dads. It's not here to go into, you know, crazy anatomical detail on things. There's plenty of people that will, I guess, do that on a podcast. But it's about how everything starts to affect everything that they do. So uh, I'll give you just an example. We had a player the other day, and he'd been with us for a while, you know, for a few months. And he was, his velocity was down, and he was like, Coach, I'm working so hard. I don't know what's going on. And so we said, hey, okay, let's talk about what kind of things have you been doing? He's like, oh, about six weeks ago, I started X, Y, Z. I started doing this. I started doing that. And all kinds of things that they put into kind of this formula. And it was right about the time that things had really stalled for him and it started to decline. You know, I kind of got to thinking, you know, do you think they have anything in common? And so what happens is a lot of times, Players will just start doing things just because it seems like the right thing to do. And they don't understand that even though they are doing, for instance, the players in our program, they're doing all the different things that we do and the things that, you know, are part of a system to generate arm health and velocity and all that great stuff. When you start adding different pieces to the equation and you start, you know, maybe you're, you're doing some, some weight training and, and, and lifting that is actually, you're, you know, you go to the gym and you're doing some things that are actually hurting everything else and are making you slower, making you tighter, giving you arm pain. And don't get me wrong, weight training is essential and absolutely necessary. And players should do it, but they need to do it the right way. There's things that help. There's things that work. And there's things that cripple. And so as far as pitching goes, as far as being healthy uh, with, with, with not having arm pain. And so we have to look at all of those things. And so that's why a lot of times we, we, we really like for our players to, and we ask them all the time, hey, what are you doing? What are things, are, what else are you adding into this formula, the equation? And sometimes, you know, they'll tell us, hey, we're doing this. We're doing this in the weight room. We're like, man, that's really great. Keep attacking that. Go hard. And then other times, there's things that are causing them pain. There's things that are causing them irritation, uh, you know, in their elbow or in their bicep. And, and it's things that are counter, they're not helping everything else. And so really just understanding everything affects everything when you start changing the outcome. And so sometimes I'll get asked, even with our you know, some of the different structure and the workouts that we have and like, coach, what if I do triple what you wrote down? What if, what if I do three times this amount at home? What if I do five times? I guess I'll be five times better. And the answer is no, you won't. We need recovery, but not just that. You have to understand that you, once you change something in the system or something in a formula, you change the outcome. And so sometimes that's good, but sometimes it's bad. And so we just have to be aware of that, have to understand. Also, we like players to track pretty much what everything they're doing. You know, maybe they're eating food that's making them lackadaisical or whatever it might be, but just track everything to kind of see when things started to happen. Is there anything that's jumping off the page that maybe should tell us, hey, we need to kind of back off on this or, hey, I wonder if this is affecting this and go from there. Talk to you later. If you enjoyed this podcast, make sure to share it with a friend. And don't forget to go to jasonalamo.com to learn all about our middle school and high school baseball mentorship and training program. jasonalamo.com. Check it out.